that in addition to that, my superintendent said that if she had had available to her an opt-in for elementary school students, she would have done it, but the law prohibited it. Now, why did she want that opt-in? She wanted it because she felt that the school district and the teachers and the board were at risk for liability issues. And due to those liability issues, she thought that an opt-in protected them. That's my superintendent. And I would just say to your superintendent, below seventh grade, so K through six, every elementary school in, or district in the state has the opt-in right. So they already have that right. Not yeah. according to her, yeah. not according to her. It, it's, it's in the education code. If you read it, you will see it. You know what? I told you what the rules were when we started. If you like it, you go like this. If you don't like it, you're quiet. Otherwise, you'll be asked to leave. This bill places the opt-in in the code for elementary K through six. It, it, it's already there, Senator Morrell. Okay, thank you. Uh, before I ask you to close, Senator Morrell, I would just like to weigh in uh, as a mother of 27-year-old twin daughters who had sex education in public schools. Um, I did not feel that it was not age appropriate. I had the opportunity as a parent to review the material if I went into the school and ask for it, which I believe all parents have that right now. If, if, you do, if you do not want your child to receive sex education, I would be very proactive as a parent. I would walk into the office and I would say my daughter is, or son is in, you know what? It's my turn to speak now and if you're gonna to continue to do that, I will ask one of the sergeants to remove you. If I did not want my child to receive sex education, I would go into the office, I would speak to the principal, and I would ask that whenever the time arises that they're going to teach sex education, they did not want my child to be a part of that. Or I would walk in and say, may I see the curriculum, which they would be given. I understand that this woman did not have that experience, and that's wrong. Senator Morrell, we've worked with you for a year on this bill. Uh, we agree with you, I agree with you on the online and the transparency piece, 100%. Um, we offered you some amendments that would have addressed Senator DeRazzo's concerns. You were not interested in those. And we made it very, I made it very clear that the opt-in piece would make it something that I could not vote on. I think that parents should be involved in their children's education. I was very involved in my children's education. I don't know how many folks in this room have read the education material that would be presented. Very good. There's nothing in there that is not age appropriate. If you... I don't lie. I don't lie. You may disagree. I am not immoral and I am not a liar. And just because we, this is the wrong, this is what's wrong with the discourse in America right now. If we don't agree, you call people a liar. I have not, I've disagreed with many of you and I haven't called any of you a liar because I don't think that you're lying. So there is some, there are some things going around online that are being propagate, propagated by um, senators or a senator in this building. And it says that we are teaching anal sex, sexting, cyber sex, phone sex, sensation play, and kinky sex. If you look at the curriculum, it is not there. It is not there. It is not, you, what you're looking at, those of you who are pointing, those of you who are pointing, I see you. What you're pointing out was removed. That was a version. Okay, well, we have a fundamental disagreement. It's not there. It's not being taught. Um, I think part of the problem is, is people are afraid to talk to their children about sex. And thank you. And it's not condescending. I know because I, boy, oh boy, you guys are something else. <laughs> Senator Morrell, maybe you can ask your witnesses to be respectful of the process. I'd, I'd ask you to be respect respectful of the parents. I'd, I'd ask, I'd a I would ask you to be respectful, but also uh, their parents, you are lecturing. So I'm not lecturing, I'm giving my opinion. You know what, but we're done. I am recommending a no vote on the bill. Senator Morrell, please close. Thank you, um, Senator Leva, for your lecture. Madam Secretary, please call the roll. Does, is someone, I Senator, already, you already moved the bill. Okay. It has been moved by Senator Wilk. Madam Secretary, please call the roll. 
Item one, SB 673, the motion is due pass to appropriations. Leva? No. Leva, no. Wilk? Aye. Wilk, aye. Chang? Aye. Chang, aye. Durazo? No. Durazo, no. Glazer? No. Glazer, no. McGuire? Pan? No. Pan, no. Four no's and two yes votes, and we will leave the roll open for Senator McGuire to vote.